This is Andy Perua for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And I'm joined by Rocky Fielding over Zoom. Rocky, first and foremost, Happy New Year. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the festive period as best as possible. Um, what did you get up to? Yeah, all the best, mate, to you too. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, nothing, just a quiet one, mate. Just um, didn't do anything. New Year, I was in cup of tea and some cookies in bed with the kids for, for half ten. Um, so I didn't see New Year, but Christmas just had uh, my mum around and my girlfriend's mum and just had a quiet Christmas, done the dinner. Yeah, that was it. Didn't do nothing. I think probably everyone was in everyone's in the same boat. Didn't probably do much. So um yeah, not on quiet, quiet Christmas, mate, really. You've had a long old wait since you last fall. Talk to me about this kind of this period of inactivity in your career for something which is largely out of your own hands because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's say well, well I, I, obviously I had my fight last year, the end towards the end of last year. Um, just a little fighting to get back into the mix and you know I won well um, and then over the Christmas and New Year got you know I stayed stayed in the gym I stayed fit and um, then January February I went I think yeah, in March I went over to Marbella gym MTK to do a week out there to train get myself you know some runs in there and then get back to see what was happening then Two days after I got back, we went into the, to the lockdown. Um, but as I said, I didn't have no dates, I didn't have not, not, no, no opponents at the, at the time, but I just still kept, obviously get myself busy and ready and to see what was. I was MTK went on to Eddie and seeing what anything there, but I wasn't getting back with much. So um, I still ticked over through, through the match. And as the... As it got like more longer and the restrictions started to go a bit more, a bit more harder at me, and the the what was it the lockdown got more more um, harder. The kids weren't allowed in the nursery, so then I was, you know, we were we were at the the kids. You know, I was imagine a three year old and a, and a, a two year old. Um, with four now. I mean. At the time, like you know, from seven in the morning right the way to, got to entertain them and try and keep busy. So once in, I had to concentrate on that and get myself out for walks with them and bike rides and just, just I couldn't keep still and um, so that was it really and um, done little bits, got to order the treadmill and then the treadmill and a punch bag put up and then the, the treadmill came when lockdown eased up. <laughs> I was waiting for. Two or three months, I didn't come to the to the gym's back open, so that was a um, that was a bit of a nightmare. I got a punch bag up in the garden, but I felt a bit of a divvy like in the back garden punching a bag, you know, with the neighbours around looking. I've probably nine o'clock in the morning eating a bag, so I am um, I didn't go on that much, but I tried to stay stay active active and that and um. Yeah, it wasn't went away a couple of times as well when we when we were allowed to fly just to just to get away and you know break things up, get get away from the rut that we were we were in. I was in through the lockdown, but as I say, yeah, it was a year to year out the ring. But um, as I say, I haven't been probably the longest I've been up the gym last year. Stuff, do you know what I mean? I'm always in the gym and I've had no. Hard fights, you know, I no wars, so it hasn't been too bad f for me taking the year out and probably let my body recover a bit. Rocky, for many people over this past close to a year now, whilst we've been going through the, the midst of this pandemic, a lot of people have kind of struggled with the mental health side of life. Yeah. Would you say that you've struggled with your own mental aspects over this past year because you haven't known what's going to be next for yourself and your career and listening to you there, so you kind of, at times, you fell into your own rut? Yeah, 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 I um, I did. I, yeah, it was, a, it was a bad rut I was in. and You know, once it, it's mad because I want you to stop, like, training or, like, thinking about training and, yeah, I think everyone said the training's the best medicine for the all, you know what I mean? And because I'd been training all from 2019 and right the way through Christmas and New Year, thinking something about 
shuttles were going to come around March, April, May and that, and it, it didn't. I kept on training. And then when it got long, as I said, I just, yeah, I just obviously took the nursery with the kids, couldn't go back to the nursery, so I was stuck with the kids. And then we just didn't yell, so trying to, but as I say, with probably other fighters, we, we can't, we can't keep still. We've got um, our minds got to, our minds got to, always got to keep going, keep going. And when nothing was happening, uh, as I say, yeah, I went into, I went into the rut and um, yeah, bad rut. Put a, you know, put a, put the pounds on from what I used to walk around. That you know, the first ever time I've ever ever been this this heavy. Do you know what I mean? And you know, it's not a, a big problem. I've never, you know, I've never been this 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 heavy or things like that in my life but I think they've only the same boat but um yeah they'll say well once once we were allowed to travel uh, I, 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 I I went away I went away took the kids with my family we went away we had the hall be booked um before the in June June but then it got cancelled and then we done for September and we went and done that so and done a bit of training out in Dubai um, while we were there. So I just started to get me, ease my mind back into it, you know, different environments, you know, a bit of sun, a bit of, you know, a bit of freedom, being able to go out for walks and jumping in a pool and things like that. It was, it was good. But as I say, yeah, it, it, it did, I didn't, I bought, I've been planning on outside the ring as well, outside the ring and I've, you know, I was opening a, an academy for the kids. We had that in place to go uh, last year, and then obviously this happened. Um, we had it ready to go in September, in an academy, a boxing academy. Um, me and a couple of guys from my area. Um, so they, I was planning for that, and this happened. So then obviously you put a thing on. I thought, oh, what's, I don't know what's going to happen. And I've got a business as well here, and that got closed. Um, but. So yeah, so it's you know we we can all you know sit around and dwell on things. I know it is hard, but there's always something at the end that'll always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it, it doesn't last for long, and if you just keep at it, stay positive, things will change. And I know that for myself. I know you know I know it's happened to me. It's happened to me. So. Um, now we're in this this next lockdown now, and I just think of people. What you done in the last lockdown? What didn't help them? Just don't do it again, and 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 change change your mindset onto something else. You know, just get out, just get the walks, go to the woods, just get on your bike. You know, and just just get out there and just live your life. It's, you only get one, so make the most of it. Rocky, just moving forward and um, obviously you go back to kind of a, a boxing talk and what could be next for yourself in your career. What what do you see as being the next chapter for yourself as you await news? It's a new year now. I'm sure you've got your own goals as to what you'd still like to achieve in the sport. What early indications or discussions have you had with your team about what could be next? Yeah, um, you know I have to be honest, I haven't discussed anything. Yeah, as I say, I've had in mind on, on other things at the minute and that, you know, getting the ball rolling for that and um so now I can, you know, get back focusing on yeah, on what is next. Um you know, I I am still I'm still fresh, you know what I mean? And you know, I can fight it at super middle and I'm big enough for one seven five. My last fight was one seven five. So if the options come, the fights come, I think everyone's in the position where they'll They'll fight anyone now and, and take anything because everyone's been waiting and stuff like that. And you know, I'm I'm not any to um like be be a, like a stepping stone for the prospect coming through and you know, oh yeah, fight me and it's a, a gatekeeper or something like that. I'm not in, I'm not, yeah, I'm not in it for this. And you know, I can I can see like, there's been super middleweights that have been fighting over this lockdown and light heavies and so. I just want to get myself back in the mix with them. You know, my rankings are good. Last time I looked at my rankings are good in the top 10. And, you know, we look at, you know, you got Billy Joel, Callum, me, Ryder, you know, beat Ryder. Um, he's doing well. He's had a couple of fights too. So, you know, 
I'm still, you know, still ranking, still good in there, and as I say, in in, in the in the world scene as well. So, um, I'm just waiting for to get back in, get back fit, get some weight down, and you know, say fights come at one seven five opponents, I'll, I'll take them and yeah, um, and super middleweight, just just the big big names, big fights, get myself back in the mix, and you know, I'll be in with the with the big big name and a, a big opponent, Canelo and. You know, we'd be no bigger than him at the minute, is he? So the ones be below him and the names below him who are, who are ranked, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take them if if the phone rings and things up, you know, things can happen. Just one man that you mentioned there, Rocky, is John Roy. The, when we did an interview, it was about midway through last year. You said you'd be happy to, to rematch him again. Um, or say again, you'd happy, be happy to rematch him for what would be the first time. What yes. kind of came of that, if anything at all? Because he received a, a very good reaction on social media when we put a clip out of you saying you'd be happy to face John um, once again. Did, did anything further come of that? Um, no, no, I don't know, because the way we was, we were all like waiting around to see what was going on with fights. And, you know, you couldn't fly abroad. You couldn't bring fighters over. And I knew like Callum and Billy Joel probably were waiting for the Canelo fight to see and then, you know, there's me underneath in the rankings and then do rather and I just said, yeah, uh, you know, let's, let's fight, let's sort something. But obviously, yeah, nothing came um, of it. Um, nothing came here for a month. I had a bit of banter with Chavez Jr., put it to Eddie yeah, and nothing came. And so I just, as I said, yeah, so I, I, did, I didn't do much. And then I got a phone call off Jamie. He, he rang and said, um to the phone call to see if he wants to fight John Ryder on the Joshua Bill. I said to him, when's he fighting? He said, oh, it's in five weeks. And I was like, okay, not a chance. You know, he probably told Ryder to get back in the gym in the summer. He's probably been training since July. I've been told there's nothing going on, nothing happening. And then five weeks, they want to ring me and think, yo, so... Um, so that was probably why he fought on the Golovkin build then. Um, but as I say, yeah, you know, people had him beating Callum, winning Cal the fight with Callum, and you know, he's had a good two or three wins since. And you know, so if the phone rang and for the f you know, for the next couple of months to, to fight him, I'd take that, not a problem. And um, and anyone above him, really, yeah, if that's. But as I say, at the minute, nothing's being discussed on what's happening. But hopefully, the, um, once we get January out the way with what's going on, you know, we can we can start talking and see what's available for me. I say, I'm all waiting around to, you know, fight prospects, you know, up and coming fighters. You know, I've had a few calling me out and that, and I'm not here to, to do it, to, to, to do that. So, yeah. Yeah, anyone that in the top fives, just I'll, I'll take them. Rocky, just moving on from yourself, just get your thoughts on a couple of the fights and fighters. Uh, Martin Murray, a campmate of yours, he obviously fought Billy Joe Saunders in December last year. Came, uh, came away unfortunately with a defeat and has since then announced his retirement. Just kind of reflect mm -hmm. on that fight for me, Rocky, and you know, Martin's subsequent decision to retire. Yeah, um. Yeah, I text Martin and um, he texted me after it. Um, he was, he said he just, you know, time just caught up with him when he was in there and, you know, but he's had a fantastic career and where I am today and what I've done is only because of Martin and Oliver and, you know, the last, that last bit of my career now with Jamie and I walked in, in Oliver's 10 years ago and I, I got put in with Martin sparring and, um, you know, man, I've learned so much off him in the ring and outside the ring, and um, he's had a great career. He's had two times where he could have been a world champion, should have been. Um, you know, because I've travelled with him, camps to South Africa and stuff. So, um, I wish him all the best now. And we, you know, we always text, we're always in, we're in touch. We probably, I think, we're going to meet up in a couple of couple of days or so, or a couple of weeks. Um. See him, see him. I haven't seen him for a while. I didn't, I didn't go in the gym while he was training in the camp, and and Jack Castle had the fight as well. Because 
I had nothing coming up, so I didn't want to be around in case, you know, this this testing and people are getting positive, you know, all the training and then come to it and, and they've been connected. So I stayed out the gym and I didn't really see him through the camp and it was doing me then. I was keeping, you know, texting and I said to Jamie and I said, I don't really want to be in the gym while he's training just in case anything because I haven't been in, I've got no date. So, um, but he texted me um, said everything was great in the in in camp. Um, the fight week was great. He made the weight great, and that he said just just the next day, just in the ring, just the um, time caught up. So, boy, say you no, know, man. Back in the day, with the give Billy Joe well, it was a hell of a fight. You know what I mean? So, um, I was wishing all the best now for whatever he does now. And a fight which has been muted for Billy Joe is that we've won with Canelo. Uh, looking at around May time for that, Canelo wants to unify the 168 division, Rocky. Um, before we come on to that, uh, Canelo Callum Smith obviously took place last year, two of your former opponents. Just wanted you to yeah. reflect on that again for me and what were your thoughts? Um, I, you know, I, don't, I think I've done an interview with Boxing News um, and like, I watched it the next day and uh, what I've probably said like it kinda of happened. Um I said being in with with Canelo and and he's just you know, I did I caught I didn't you know we didn't go along with him, but I caught him like, in the second round with 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 some with some you know a good good couple of the shots and I felt him through me knuckles and when he just shook it off and kept on coming at me, I just thought Oh, this is a got you know this is this is a long night about ten rounds ago yeah so you know um but yeah you know I I just yeah he's just too strong for Callum you know what I'm saying Callum was massive for the way the thing you miss he's just too strong for Callum he, he just bullied him around the ring and Callum couldn't put a a, a dint in him very could he and like you know make him respect them um. So I I I thought I said like the first first four rounds will be like you know a bit cagey after the four rounds, um, can allow us come on top then and and um and take over the fight and he did and you know yeah he he, he was first round he did he did he was punching me in the arms giving me dead arms, um, I was like that was so what he what he doing here and, you know the the pain of Giving me dead arm thing. You've always done yeah, all your belly, but you know, the experience and I think I think I, I, I watched Klitschko back in the day and he was just or interview as well. He just he just hitting any bit of the target, shoulders, arms, chest. Doesn't matter, he's just hitting it and then, you know, coming to think about it, that you know experience and elite fighters, that's what they do. They just hit anywhere in the target and that's probably why Callum's arm is bloomed up, but um, he's in a different league, though. Can always, you know, you know, he's just in his own league, and you can look at it with, with Callum having like a good amateur background and that around a GB. You, you'd think, you know, it would be you know a, de- a decent fight, you know, the experience and stuff. He's at his garden, but actually, when you see, it, he's just. Leagues above Canelo, isn't he? And you know, they like he just he made him sitting down, was he on the stool? He made him sitting back on the stool. He just he just knew what he was doing. I think if he could have went up to second gear, third gear, and put the pressure on a lot, you know, a lot more and upped it a lot more, he probably could have got him out of there. But, um, you know, it is what it is. He's just different league, and you know, he, um. Sure, that, what happens next with Callum? Well, I wouldn't know what he, what his plans are. In Billy Joe's case, as I mentioned earlier on, with <laughs> Canelo after he defeated Callum, he's been mentioned for it. What are your thoughts if Billy Joe does face Canelo? How how good of a chance do you give him? Because a very different style to, to obviously Callum and to yourself when you fought um, Canelo. Yeah, yeah, no. I just see, I just don't, I just don't see anyone beating him. Really, I don't, I know style. Everyone's saying style and that, and he's sick and this and that. But he's got the power, Billy Joe, to, to, as I said before, like to put a dent in him and to like, 
can't be expected. You just so you know we the star can be on his toes, thing that you know bouncing around the ring, getting the shots off. But then he'll just wear him down, and he always finds a way of 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 you know of winning. You know, even though he looks like he'll be losing, um, you know, not winning rounds, but in the end he, he finds a way and ends up you know winning or taking them out or going with the point. So. I don't uh, I just as I say as I said in the last if you look at um the last fights, you know, look at Callum's last fight with Rada, you know, where I was picking Rada picked Rada, he won. I didn't really see much of the fight. And you look at Canelo's with Kovalev, the size of him put him out, and then the size of Rada with Callum this do you know what I mean? And then the last fight, you always watch your last fight and you know, with them saying he had Four weeks notice, Callum, but he probably knew anyway something was happening with Indy. So, but you look at Billy Joe's last couple, and obviously, you keep saying he needs this big, this big fight, this big name to get him the best out of him. Um, but every fight, you need to be the best, don't you, to show and prove. But I just think kind of just in a different, different league at the minute, and I don't think there's anyone at the minute can, can beat him. And you know, it'd be great that he could, Billy Joe be great for the British boxing and you know I think everyone wants to see it wants to see see the fight so um, it'd be interesting if it does come off hopefully um, as I say if it doesn't come off give me give me a phone call I'll, I'll step in and fight Billy Joe <laughs> Rocky it's been a pleasure to catch up with you I'm sure it won't be the last time this year no. um, stay safe I'll speak to you again soon thank you for your time and thank you yeah. for Boxing Social Sammy so, mean, hopefully uh, next time I speak I, mean, I have some news on, on something fights or something happening 